Hi, I'm Eric Hansen. I want to talk with you about a strategy you can use to help you improve your leadership skills, to get your ideas across, and to get buy-in from the people you're working with. In every conversation we have, we're dealing with someone's emotional reactions, the situations and the circumstances that an individual is dealing with. If we look at that as a form of an iceberg, we recognize that disk is at the top of that iceberg. In other words, when we come into contact with an individual, what we're really suggesting is, is that you're dealing with the disk portion of that totality of a person. The emotions that an individual is expressing from generally result from a reaction to their environment. That's why the first thing that you're dealing with in any conversation that you're having, phone, meetings, hallways, uh, any other video conferencing, you're working through someone's emotional reactions. Therefore, the first thing you're always dealing with is the disc, the model of behavior that an individual is expressing. Here's the thing. When you're dealing with situations and circumstances, if you don't understand the first thing you're dealing with are emotional reactions, you really don't have a strategy to deal with someone, whether it's a conflict situation, just a level of resistance, or whether someone is just interested in understanding what you know. So when there is tension in a conversation, that tension can either go north, meaning higher, meaning more resistance, more conflict, or it can go south or lower, or the individual feels a little more comfortable. So over time, tension can be high or low. And my experience is, is that it generally has a wave function, something that looks like that. That tension in the conversation, or in the initial few moments of a conversation, has a tendency to be fairly high. That's due from the situation that the individual just came out of. It's due from the apprehension of not knowing what it is that you're looking for as a leader. It has to do with uh, their feelings about the day and all the things that are going on. Their attention is scattered, creating more tension in the conversation. So if I'm aware of the tension in a conversation, I have the ability to adjust that. The problem is, is if I don't have a strategy, if I don't understand the disc portion, there's a chance that that tension as it moves to, toward higher can continue on that way. When it goes up, now you have resistance. It can get to a point where there's so much tension that an individual can just walk out. And that's not good for you as a leader, and it certainly isn't good for you as a mentor. What you're interested in doing in terms of dealing with tension and managing the conversation is to recognize that the tension is high and your job is to bring it down. Over time, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, if you're working to reduce the tension to make the situation a little more comfortable, what you're gonna find is that the resistance level goes down, people hear you, accept what you're saying, and have a greater chance of buying into what it is that you're asking them to do. All because you have a different strategy by using DISC. DISC, dominance, influence, steadiness, compliance, has particular language to it. And when you understand what someone's language is that they're using, you can incorporate it into the way that you're managing the conversation which is managing the tension. And again, bringing it down over time is better than letting it go up. And that's the true benefit of understanding and using DISC on an ongoing basis. You're constantly reading the tension in the room, the tension in the voice, the tension in the emotions, and then working to try to bring that tension down over time.